in a cry for help we find our way to kamkunji estate in eldoret here we meet Anne, not her real name Anne is a 15 year old girl in eldoret who was defiled by a man well known to the locals and was forced to live with the fear and silence or be killed by her perpetrator as we visit her homestead today, Anne is already a mother. Okay, my name is Teresa Mayabi. I'm a teacher in town, a school called Eldoret Township Primary School. Okay, this is a sad story from uh, Kamukunji. As I've said, I'm a teacher. Mimi ni mwalimu na huyu msichana ni mwanafunzi wangu. In fact, she's a minor. She's only 15 years old. So sometimes last year, she was defiled by a person who has uh, so far fled. His whereabouts is not known. Uh, this year, in the month of March, I discovered that she was uh, not well, she was expectant. So I called her, talked to her, and she was free. She opened up and told me the whole truth. As a mother, I felt compassion for her, and I've been doing counseling to her since she told me the story. And then uh, this week on Thursday, I just met with the mother in town, and she told me she had taken Josephine to to Moi Teaching and Referral Hospital. She was in labor. So I went there, I found her in agony, she was really struggling. I stayed there with her, I stood there with her, comforting her, counseling her, until the time when she gave birth, around, uh, around four. And I was there to receive the baby and take care of her. I did the necessary, whatever she needed, then I, I left. This is a very sad story. Was the matter reported before she came to you or after you have discovered that she was pregnant? Okay, the matter was reported uh, earlier. The mother reported to the area, first to the village elder, that is what she told me. Then she was referred to the chief. She was referred to the police station. When she went there, she was told to bring the... The, the doctor's recommendation she took, but so far nothing has been done. Around four months of her pregnancy is when her class teacher and her guardian angel discover that Anne was pregnant. Tigani, ama likuelezea aje kuwa kitindo kama hicho kili mfanyikia? Hakunyelezea. Lakini, nilimuananga tu sayote ni mgonjwa, sayote... Ana niambia mpeleko hospitali. Sasa siku moja tichaka niambia ati ni mpeleke mi mwenye hospitali ni wapimwe. Sasa mimi nae si kuenda juu nilikuwa na shughuli mingi ya kutafuta kibarua. Nzia hapo nilienda kwa mzee wa mta. Nikamu, aa, niliuliza kwanza msichana. E, ukona mimba haka niambia, haka kataku nijibu. Nikamuliza tena, juu nidiambi umuliza kwa upole. Nikamuliza tena, akakata. Ndi akaniambia tini kijana mungine huko juka mbiteso. Ndi aliniwekea soda kwa juice kwa, kwa nini na kaimati. Adinipea. Wakati nilikula, nikajikuta niko kwake. Yangu tukiunganga shule, nilanga kwanti yangu. Yo siku nilikuwa naenda huko kwanti yangu na nikupanda mlimo ukienda huko juu. Nika, nika choka nika kachini. Haka tokea huko kansalimia nika kata kumujibu. Haka smati na jifanya. Haka akenda kwa duka haka nunua juisi ya afya na muffin, muffin cake. Haka kuja na ayo. Haka nipatia nika kata Nika kata kuchukua kasimati ya simu tumba ya kai. Haka nekea pavu kwa mguna, haka jifanya meenda. Nika 
sikwenda nayo kwa nti yangu wange nuliza nimetoa habini ka kulia hapo hivyo kabla hata nimaliza kukula ngasikia kizunguzungu nkaangu ka chini siku kenye ilifuata nikajikuta nko kwake kumuuliza akanini nikamwambia nenda kuambia mama yangu akasema ati ati nikijaribu kuambia mama yangu ama mtu hata ni huu ameni pamoja na mama yangu ama nikienda ni kuripoti atatuma wanagazo kujua tuwe na mi mwenyewe sina nyuma wala mbele baba yao tuliachana 2016 anisaidii chochote mimi sina kibarua labda mtu aniteko tu nifue ama saa zingine niende nifanye kazi ya shamba ya kupalilia mahindi ndio ni niwalete ndio wakule kwa hii nyumba hata kulipa nyumba imefika mahali imekuwa ngumu juu kazi hakuna kufanya nini ungependa kupata usaidizi aina gani ama ungependa kupata uh, ungependa kupata haki haki ya uh, aina gani Today we pledge with the society to help us find justice for Anne and also to help Anne get a second chance to education.